Hello everyone, uh, you are welcome to um, our lecture 14, lecture number 14 in uh, machine learning course ICAT 3120 at University of Baza. Uh, we have seen already uh, many different machine learning methods and um, today we will talk about the main principle of uh, re reinforcement learning which is also very important part of uh, uh, the techniques applied in machine learning in general. So um, <clears throat> actually what is the difference between reinforcement learning and supervised learning and unsupervised learning? Uh, the main difference here is, is that in, uh, in reinforcement learning, uh, uh, it is not necessary that uh, we have uh, pre-recorded data. So uh, we don't have teacher. Uh, so uh, we, we don't know what is the what is the uh, correct answer and uh, This is of course the case of supervised learning usually we have data and we have also like labels for this data which is teacher uh, The teacher inform the the algorithm. What is the correct answer in each case? But in reinforcement learning we don't we don't have that teacher Okay, instead we have uh, the critic, so we can uh, get reward by doing the right thing or like punishment or penalty of doing the wrong thing. So th this is what we get in, in reinforcement learning. We don't have a teacher to tell us what is the, or, or to tell the agent actually, what is the correct answer and what is the uh, like uh, uh, wrong answer. Um, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, also, uh, in unsupervised learning, in the clustering methods that we, we studied already, we have already like uh, databases with, with, with a lot of data. So, and we want to, to like cluster this data based on some like uh, uh, measure of the distance uh, to, to measure the similarity. So we can, we can uh, like clustering the data and uh, also uh, in the uh, semi-parametric uh, learning that we have seen already that uh, some methods in order to uh, build or to estimate some labels there. So we, 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 we saw uh, in, in supervised and unsupervised learning, we saw um, many techniques, uh, however, that most of the, or actually all techniques based on like we have data already. Now, assume that we have a robot, we put a robot in, in a maze or in, in a room, and we ask this robot to go out from that room without any further information. So we don't have that, uh, we don't have the trajectory that the, the, that, that, uh, the robot should, should follow, okay? So if we have trajectory for that robot, then it is, it is like supervised learning. So we give the, the, the trajectory and then the robot should, should follow that, that trajectory. But now we don't have any, any information. However, uh, the agent in the reinforcement learning, they need to be aware about the environment. So they need to know something about the environment, not necessarily that everything in the environment. However, uh, this, this is crucial in, in, in reinforcement learning that they should be able to, to have something about the environment and also to get some feedback. Okay, so the feedback is getting like, for example, when, when the, the, this robot go out from the room or from the maze, then we, we give a reward for the, for, for, for the agent, then they know that they did the right thing. Uh, if uh, after some time span they uh, the robot was not able to to get out then we get some like 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 negative reward or uh, uh, punishment like negative point so they know that they did the the, 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 the bad steps okay so th this is the, the the major thing of uh, or the main concept of re re reinforcement learning and today we are going to go a little bit deeper in in the reinforcement learning the algorithm how to build the algorithm um, uh, uh, some equations that explain how it works however of course the reinforcement learning is is a, like different subjects it is big subject so uh, it is not necessary it is not possible of course to cover everything in in one hour however that we, we try at least uh, to give as much as possible about this important topic okay 
So uh, why machine learning again? So uh, uh, here we can see one example in this in the slide about, uh, for example, uh, if we want to build a machine that to learn how to play chess game. So in that in that case, uh, some people they could say that okay, we can show to the to the uh, like agent like thousands of uh, playing. Uh, uh, strategies and then the machine learning or the agent should be able to 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 learn it yes it is correct however of course it is very costly because you know that uh, in, in in chess game uh, uh, we might have like trillions of trillions of possible movements of of of, uh, uh, of the items there so um, however that we can of course show like like several thousands or millions of of movements and uh, uh, this it, it, it might work but also it is costly first thing and the, and and and, and the, uh, costly in, in means of or in terms of computation and the second thing that uh, uh, the the agent uh, uh, will be able to learn only what what it it, it saw in in the in, in the training phase okay uh, but if we want uh, the uh, uh, the agent to learn by itself the best policy that they they can work or they can take in order to win the game so th this is something different in this case okay so um, uh, uh, however of course in the chess game that the reward will be obtained when the uh, uh, when the agent when the uh, intelligent agent win the game so uh, there is no meaning to say that we give a reward for one 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 movement of the items okay so it is because um uh, uh, the movement one single movement doesn't account so what we need is the like series of actions or sequential uh, sequential actions together which leads to the to the winning or or to lose the game so usually uh, we get a reward after the the game is is over to get that uh, if the, the the agent win the game or lose lose the game then it is a punishment so uh, uh, of course we can get give also or we can modify it to give like immediate uh, uh, reward or negative reward uh, uh, if they move uh, the item uh, in the wrong way so um, because it is not necessary even to uh, build or to give the rules of of game or, or how to play the game in the, to, to the in, in the reinforcement learning of course it is good you can you can save time if you give that in the beginning however in general if we don't know how uh, or or we don't we have not like uh, updated or uploaded uh, uh, the agent with the uh, rules of the chess game however that we can say that th this this movement is not allowed so we give like big a negative point so the reinforcement of the agent will understand that they shouldn't do this again so they try to find by itself by exploring where to uh, what are the correct uh, movements of of each item in the chess and also to play the game because when they play uh, like uh, and they uh, lose the game many many times after that if they win one time so they know that which actions were correct to which leads to to, to, to winning uh, uh, this game so it needs a lot of course of trial and error in order to get like learned uh, how to play the chess game um, another example is a robot in maze we, we talked about this so we, we, we bought the, uh, a robot in a maze we, maybe it has a camera so they know uh, uh, what is in front of it but but they don't they don't have like map about about the environment so that, so they, they cannot have a map or or maybe they have uh, uh, or it has map but it doesn't have uh, like uh, uh, a possibility to know where is it now inside that map so um, 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 how to move in that case so this is also can be uh, solved with with reinforcement learning of course there are a lot of of applications for reinforcement learning in different uh, areas and we will talk about this later Okay, what is the concept of uh, uh, of machine of reinforcement learning? Um, 
Okay, let, let, let us go to this figure to, to explain uh, about it based on this on this figure. So uh, usually we have agent. Those are the items of reinforcement learning. So we have agent. And um, uh, uh, in, in th this agent, it has the algorithms in order to uh, play the game or to update or to take actions. What is the input of that agent? Uh, we have a, like a new state observation from the, the environment. So we assume, as I said, that the agent, it has some knowledge about the environment. Maybe it has a camera or it has some sensor. Okay. For example, sorry, for the, for the chess game, maybe the agent uh, uh, has like a sensor uh, uh, under every square of the chess game board. So they know that each item where is it now at at, at certain at certain time and also uh, uh, camera sensors keyboard for example so it has some sense about the environment but remember it is not necessary that the agent aware about everything in the environment and this is actually not the case okay uh, we don't know everything about the environment but we have some observation about the environment uh, for this reason that I put here, this is the environment, like uh, how the agent think about the environment. It is not necessarily that what the agent think about the environment is the environment. So they, they can be like a close or, or very big difference between them. So the, the, the agent try to, to think about the environment uh, with certain models. So the, the agent build the model about the environment based on this, these states and also based on the uh, feedback, which is, which is in terms of reward or penalty or punishment. Okay, so this is what, what, what we get. So the environment to try all the time to build knowledge about, uh, the, the agent try all the time to build knowledge about the environment based on the feedback from that environment and also based on the action taken because the agent should be decision maker. So the agent takes action at time TK, okay? And in this action, it should uh, like somehow uh, change something in the environment. For the, uh, I give example, if we have a robot and then th this robot, it has like uh, the action is to go forward or backward or to the right or to the left. Okay. Now the environment is uh, for, 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 for the agent is uh, uh, what, the a what the robot see at a certain time or what is in the front of the, of the robot. Okay, so uh, now the agent take action. So uh, it, it takes action to uh, and command the robot to go forward. And after the robot goes forward, let, let's say five meters, then we, we, we are now out of, sing, uh, of certain room and we are inside another room. So the environment has been changed now for the agent. Okay, so in, in that case, the agent will, will get some new states now from the by taking this action they will get some new state okay and also it will get some feedback the feedback it can be immediate feedback of course this is the best but unfortunately this could uh, um, is not possible in many uh, uh, situations is not possible to have immediate uh, uh, like uh, uh, feedback so usually the feedback uh, comes after uh, delay, which can be long delay or short delay. But after some delay, we got the, this feedback like a reward. If if the uh, if the uh, robot in this in this example gets out from the maze or uh, achieved what we asked or uh, uh, the, the, our objective or the objective of the agent has been achieved. So you can see here uh, we bought here T K plus M. And the action it was taken at time TK, okay, which means that uh, uh, it is after some time. So here uh, we deal with the problem in discrete way. So we we assume we divide the problem into sampling times. So we have like each time sample. It can be like a one minute. It can be one hour. It can be whatever depends on the problem and the dynamics. How the uh, uh, how the system it changes uh, the dynamic of, of, of the system itself. Uh, the environment, of course, it can be deterministic environment and it can be stochastic environment. 
the deterministic environment is the, the, the easiest way to do it with it because once we explore or the agent knows the environment, the environment will be always, always the same. It will not be changing, but of course, this is not realistic. So it, it, there might be very few examples that we can think about st st stochastic, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, deterministic environment. Most of the environments are uh, stochastic. They have some uncertainty about the environment and then uh, the, the agent try all the time to uh, explore the environment to know and to build some uncertainty model of, of the environment. The, what we mean by uncertainty model, of course, we have seen this in part um, three when we talk about uh, like a probabilistic model or we build like a distribution function um, 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 or a, a Markov uh, like states. Uh, with 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 certain transition probabilities and so on. So we have many examples that we can see where the the environment is is um, uh, like stochastic or uh, non-deterministic environment. Um, uh, if we take another example about uh, a car, for example, the autonomous car. So the autonomous car. So uh, there is no way to uh, count how many events could happen in the, uh, on the street for, or, of the car. So it is not possible, actually. They, we have maybe countless number of, of situations that, that it might happen in the street. So in that case, we need all the time, uh, of course, uh, when we have artificial uh, agent in, inside the autonomous car, where we can use, of course, supervised learning and supervised learning and also reinforcement learning because we need to get learned all the time. Okay, and when the car, for example, some, some new event happen for the car and then uh, the agent takes some action, then we should get some uh, reward or a punishment for that action. Was it correct or was, was that action bad? Of course, we can do that also in simulation environment because we don't do we don't like to do that in on the real environment in the beginning. So we can do that in in some uh, like um, uh, uh, simulation environment, and after that we can upload the parameters of, for example, of the uh, uh, states m m transition matrix uh, or in the hidden Markov model that used inside the agent, uh, then based on the simulation, and then we can test it on, on a real environment. Okay, uh, let me start with the simplest case about reinforcement learning, which called uh, like uh, K armed uh, bandit. So in, the, in that uh, game, uh, okay, let me go to the next slide. So we have, yeah. So in, in this game, we have uh, K armed uh, uh, levers or bandits. So we, we need to like just draw uh, one of k possible levels, as you can see here, okay, and uh, what if each lever or each uh, arm it has, it is unknown for the agent, it is unknown for the agent, so for the agent, for example, in this, in arm 1, it has 1 million euro, in arm 2, it has 2 euros, in arm 3, it, it, we might have dangerous situations, so it is punishment, Okay, in, in, in arm four, we might have very old car. Uh, arm five, we might have like fancy car. So actually the reward based uh, or, or, or behind each arm is unknown for the agent. Okay, and now uh, uh, in the, sing so it is single state. Why it is single state? Because it, you, you need just to, to, to um, uh, uh, draw one of these arms okay and also the uh, reward is immediate so once you get this first arm then you will get one million euro okay however uh, what is behind uh, these arms are like not observable for for the uh, for the agent so the agent doesn't know what is behind each arm okay so how to play this game, how to play this game. What is the objective here? The objective, of course, to maximize the reward. And it is a single game. Of course, it could be repeated, but it is a single state. Okay, so now if, uh, 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 what strategies that 
the the uh, the agent has to play. So uh, first we we, we should like uh, make um, um, compromise between explore and exploit. What they mean? In the beginning, the agent doesn't know anything about uh, the environment. So, uh, uh, what is the reward for each of those K uh, strategies to play? The, the, the reward is zero, because we don't know anything about what is behind each arm. Now the agent start to explore. It, it doesn't have anything except to explore, because they don't know any information. However, if we have some information, like uh, um, uh, maybe maybe, maybe a stochastic or uncertainty uh, uh, information or uncertainty uh, uh, uncertainty like uh, uh, measure about those k uh, outcomes. Uh, for example, we know that uh, uh, the probability to get one million euro if you draw or condition and that you draw first first uh, arm is equal to let's say 0.4 okay which and and the probability for that two euro is 0.01 the probability if you draw third d uh, arm uh, to get some dangerous thing is 0.001 and so on of course it, it, even it is uncertainty so it is not fully observable but still of course the agent will go to the highest probability that they will get the 1 million euro in that case, we say that we have some information about the environment, but it is probabilistic information. We are not certain about anything. However, if we have maximum uncertainty, what is the maximum uncertainty? The probability to get every one of those, of those behind each of this arm is equal. So we have uniform distribution. In that case, we have no idea about uh, 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 we don't have any idea about what is behind each arm in this case we bought the the uh, the reward is equal to zero for each one before we explore okay so what we need now to do is to explore okay explore the first one explore the second one and, and so on this is called the explore phase okay the second uh, thing that we need to to know about uh, this uh, single state or in general in, in reinforcement learning is to exploit what we mean by exploit assume that the first you draw is the second which is two euro this is the first thing that you draw okay now we know that under the second arm we have to euro now we assume that we have deterministic environment what is we, what we mean by deter, deterministic environment that each time we we draw or we uh, uh, left the the second arm we will get to euro every time we repeat it we get the same reward okay now if you are satisfied with this outcome of course you don't know what what is what is else there Okay, so you have no information. So if you are satisfied with this, so you you might decide that every time sample you will draw the same, the same arm because you will get to euro each time. So each time you will get to euro, each time you will get to euro. So you, now you are sat satisfied, but you don't know that if you draw the first one, you will get one million euro. Okay, so what what, what you should do in this case? Of course, you need to exploit to to explore again. Exploit means that you decide to do the same, you record that outcome, and you try to do it again and again and again. Okay? Uh, of course, if you uh, draw in, in the beginning the third arm here, okay, and you got the dangerous outcome, so you will decide not to do it again. So it is also exploit. Now you exploit the result because you know that you, you will not draw or left that arm anymore again so now you, you exploit it so either you you decide to do it every time or you decide not to do it every time this uh, this uh, uh, like exploitation process okay and uh, of course uh, this is when now we are talking about deterministic environment okay now if you decide to explore more okay and you left two arm two and you try to select pick up one of those other K arms and uh, draw it 
okay and then you get another outcome or other another reward so you, you exploit that reward so you can use this reward again or you might decide to explore more there, there might be something else there so it, it, it depends also on like like on like uh, uh, like people for example so uh, we have some patient uh, or, or some uh, uh, like impatient people and so we have some people that they can satisfy with anything even small they are as far as they ha they are happy then i will not try something new uh, like if you go to a restaurant and then you, you you have the menu and you pick up one of those randomly some kind of pizza for example and you are satisfied with that pizza so you decide that not to change anymore so every time they will go to that same restaurant and every time they will try with the same like like dish they will not change it because they are satisfied they like it okay they didn't know that if they explore they might have something even better okay or of course they can have uh, they try with another like dish and they found that it, 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 it they didn't like it so they decide not to to ask uh, th for this like menu again so i mean uh, changing uh, uh, or, or like uh, even for people they are n uh, th not the same some people they, they try all the time to explore new things uh, the, uh, some people they once they find they find something or they found something interesting they just exploit and they don't try to explore more so uh, we have difference between like people and also in 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 the uh, reinforcement learning we try to make a compromise uh, for the artificial intelligence between those explore exploration and exploitation to uh, to 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 decide to go to new thing or just stay with the same with with the same uh, 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 reward and also we have deterministic versus stochastic uh, rewarding so um, uh, we have some situation where we have like deterministic outcome and all stochastic outcome what we mean by deterministic and stochastic if we have the environment is static nothing is changing so every time you take the same arm or the, you lift the same arm you will have the same reward every time this is called deterministic but in reality this is not the case actually this is not the case the case that uh, we, we we might have like we have usually a stochastic uh, environment or environment with some uncertainty so in the uncertainty environment it means that when you lift the first arm you might get uh, 1 million euro if you lift it again after some time of the single time a second time you might get 2 euro if you uh, 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 um, uh, lift it again you might get something dangerous and so on okay uh, uh, of course this is more challenging if we have a stochastic like uh, environment or stochastic rewarding and in that case the 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 uh, agent needs to ex to explore more okay in order to build some uncertainty model about about the uh, the environment this uncertainty model it can be represented like markov model for example so in this markov model you can see here like uh, uh, we, we we might uh, the, in the environment the one million euro might go next time sample to be two euro and after this two euro it might go after some t uh, uh, in the uh, single time sample to be something dangerous okay and also it can go to itself uh, with certain probability and this with this certain probability of course we talked about markov model in the previous um, part and the previous lecture we talk about markov model and we know how to to, to uh, or we understood uh, the, this the, the movements between between states so now we have states about every outcome in the environment or or, or about the environment okay now we have a very important question is the environment really follow these states or not of course it is not necessary this is what agent think about the environment there can be big difference between the real states movement or uh, the, the, the the real structure or infrastructure of the environment and between what agent think about the environment so we have like a, a state diagram of the environment inside the, the brain of the agent and we have the real model of the environment itself which is as i said not necessarily that known by the agent 
as I repeat again as the robot uh, example the robot has just a camera so we have like um, uh, uh, like the states of the environment based on what agency from the camera and the camera might be just from the uh, forward and we don't know what is behind the agent so the the agent might think something about about what is behind uh, uh, the the uh, the robot but not necessarily that they they know about it so they need to explore for example they they may ask the robot to change the the rotation or to take rotate the 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 uh, the head of the robot in, inside to explore more about the environment so not necessarily that what is what is in the environment is known by uh, by the agent but the agent built a model and this model it can be like modified and it can be improved with time during the uh, the ex uh, exploration uh, uh, process uh, when they explore more and more about the environment the environment it can be stationary or it can be non-stationary uh, what we mean by stationary, uh, uh, if the probability of moving in, in next stage or next time slot from 1 million euro to 2 euro is equal to 0.2 for example and it is always 0.2, it will not change that at what time we are looking for this uh, uh, like uh, 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 diagram, then uh, uh, we, we, we call that that environment is a stationary environment. If this probability changes with time, it depends on the time where we look to that to that environment. Of course, this process can be even more challenging for the uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, agent because the agent needs to know that uh, the uh, stationary or or the transition probability of that environment or to estimate the stationary uh, probability of the environment uh, uh, by uh, like uh, exploring more and more but this will not be enough because they know now that this probability is function in time actually this probability matrix of the transition is also prob uh, function in time so it depends on the time where they look to it so they will need more uh, like uh, exploring with different at different times in order to build as much as possible close closer model or the closest um, uncertainty model about about the environment okay so the, this could be much more like complicated however of course uh, most of the uh, like um, introductory courses they we, we we assume that we have a stationary environment it is a uh, stochastic but stationary okay yes what else? This is just in, in general about about uh, um, uh, the um, uh, the agent and how they interact with the, with the environment. So remember always that we have agent and this agent is interacting with the environment, and in order to achieve some objectives, and they don't know the environment in the beginning, or we can assume that, uh, of course, we can have some some like uh, uh, preloaded model. Uh, inside the agent and if we know that it, it, it could be uh, like great however also we have model free so we don't know anything about the environment and we need to to uh, like uh, uh, explore that uh, uh, that environment like in chess game uh, if we can preload the rules of the how to play the game this will be nice but uh, uh, if it will it, it play with uh, a game that without n knowing the rules then it should know the rule by itself okay this by by this feedback of reward or punishment uh, 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 feedback uh, remember always this critic of the rewarding or punishment uh, uh, feedback is uh, uh, is not always available and as i said it, it might came uh, like very late okay so we have uh, to, to 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 have some um like policy or some optimizing uh, uh policy how to make actions for the agent in order to maximize it is probability or maximize uh, it is expected uh, uh, a chance to 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 win the game and this we, we are going to to explain more in the uh, in the second uh, part of this lecture okay okay now you can see here that uh, we this is what we have already now talked about the rewarding or the penalty exploring the environment and exploiting the environment and in case that as i said we don't have uh, any information about uh, uh, or uh, the environment and also 
uh, it is stochastic environment then what we need is to to build is for example the pro conditional probability dc function which gives us the reward condition at certain actions so usually we will assume that the action taken by the by the agent as a okay so the action taken at time t is a like like index t okay and this is the the reward so the reward not necessarily to be fixed so if it is deterministic that then we will have the same reward every time but if it is stochastic then we should we should be able or we uh, we try to build some uncertainty model about the rewarding or the reward obtained by playing that action so play the action it gives some some reward okay and uh, then wh wh what is our our uh, aim our aim in this case is to maximize our like average reward now we know that uh, uh, blink as a, a, like a single action it will give us a single reward and that reward it can be positive or negative if negative it is like punishment so um, uh, now we, we try to build our policy how to play okay how to play this game in order to maximize the average uh, uh, reward of this of this uh, game so now we, we, we should choose the optimum action a star which me means that the, the reward by playing this action it gives us the maximum among all other actions okay the question now how could we know about uh, what is the optimum action which maximize the other actions of course in the beginning we don't know in the beginning uh, w when we start the game that we know we don't know anything about this what is hidden in that environment then we need to explore after exploring or after after exploration a lot of times then we can we can have some some like uh, uh, um, uh, some view or some knowledge uh, or some uncertainty model about about the environment and we can utilize that 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 knowledge or that uncertainty model in order to maximize this q of a for uh, and select the optimum action how to play that that game okay uh, i give i give just uh, a, a, an example so if we during the exploration we find that um, as more as we play with arm one we got like on the average we got like uh, uh, s sometimes we get let's say thousand euro and playing with uh, two uh, we got also some like uh, we got some uh, um, uh, hundreds of euro but when you play with arm three we got like uh, sometimes dangerous sometimes like 10 million euro sometimes dangerous which can dangerous we can we can say that we lose so it, it might be eating some of the money that we have already earned okay however that when when we win then we got a lot of money okay so now how to optimize the action what is the action policy that this agent should play for example this agent may decide that i will play one like two sequential time and then pay two play two or draw or, or left uh, second arm like four times sequentially and then uh, try once with with the third arm and maybe avoid the fifth arm because most of the time it has it it it, it lose i lose money when i play that so this is the this is called the optimum policy the optimum policy that the agent should 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 build during that uh, as more ex experience they got by exploring and exploiting uh, uh, this this game so in order to get the average of that uh, 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 reward so we can build it in this way so uh, this uh, uh, eta is called that uh, the, the the learning parameter okay and and then uh, this is the uh, uh, the uh, current expected reward by taking this action a okay and then we subtract it from from uh, the expected uh, 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 reward at a time t 
or predicted re uh, 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 reward at time t and the plus the predicted re uh, reward at time t and this we 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 we, we store it as the predicted uh, uh, or uh, 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 or the average predicted re reward at time at, at time t plus one so this will end up by running this many times it will in, uh, end up this q t plus one will converge with time to get to get the average reward out of from from uh, this this game and this could be actually easily approved just by uh, if you start with the q0 and you can start with the q0 as equal to zero and then try then you will get q1 and then compute q2 q2 here you will have q1 and uh, substitute instead of a q1 by it is previous equation so we have like a recursive equation you can find that when this recursive equation approaching like some some value this value will be the average of the rewards obtained by by playing this game several many times okay yes this is what we explained okay now uh, um, um, uh, i will stop here in this in this slide uh, and we come again to the second part but uh, what i would like to say here that that uh, uh, in case we have not single state we have multiple states in the in the in the uh, in, in the game or at, at least as the agent or in the agent brain that the the environment is represented by by different states then and we have like a stochastic environment then we can, we should extend the previous equation to be like this one so this gives us the probability density function of the reward here we assume that the reward is numeric it is continuous of course it can be discrete if it is discrete we should use the probability like probability mass function but in case that we assume that it is it is a continuous or numeric then it is the distribution of the numeric conditioned at taking action a j and we are at s at states s i at state s i so now what is the probability or what is the distribution of getting reward if we are now currently at state s i okay and we take action a j okay what is the expected reward this expected reward can is uncertain because we have uncertainty here model but we can represent this uncertainty by the probability density function this and uh, this to get the reward so we, we might get different rewards but still we can build it based on the on the probability density function it gives us some and uncertainty model uh, if we are at a state i s i and we play with action a j we have multiple actions that we can do for example a1 a2 a3 we have like like maybe k or a or a capital of actions that set of possible actions that we can take at each state of course not all actions are possible at each state for example if we talk about this robot that which we go forward backward right and and left and now if the robot comes to like like blocked to to, to that to, to hit certain like wall so now the action to, to, to go forward is not possible anymore so this action is not allowed at that state so we need to go to go either like b backward or to go to the right and left and uh, and so on so now not every action is possible at each state this is very important to uh, uh, to remember so for each state we have like like certain set of of allowed uh, actions that we can take at that at that state and the uh, uncertainty of of the uh, reward uh, from uh, at each state could be represented by a probabilistic model uh, which is represented here by the probability density function or it can be the uh, the probability uh, mass function and and now we need to learn this uh, q of si and a aj which is the value of taking action aj when in state si so this is the the the, the value that when the, that we we obtain by by playing or by taking action aj when we are in uh, 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 state si okay so uh, just to, to to summarize uh, what we have uh, said so far that 
in in reinforcement learning we try to find the optimum policy or the best policy and what we mean by policy policy means that at uh, to select the states to uh, 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 or the probability to move from one state to another state and in each state at each state that uh, uh, of, uh, in the beginning of course the probability of moving from state to state is 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 based on the exploration process that when we uh, see that the, the the environment but we decide uh, based on the action that to move and with with the probabilistic movement actually we we, we are not sure 100 percent that uh, in, in which state that we can go to the next time if it is not deterministic environment okay so what are the optimum policies or the optimum actions that we should take at each state in order to get the or to maximize the 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 total reward the total reward that that we we, we get of course if we are now at a state at certain state um, we can we can have the expectation of what we get by getting out from that state what what is the expected reward but we don't know at, at certain what is the expected reward from being in the other in the future states but but still we can we can take this into account by by adding some discount like uh, parameter and and we take the uh, uh, also the future into account to see the the optimum policy that we can we can follow in order to maximize remember that our our objective is to maximize our total rewarding uh, uh, by by playing, uh, for example, for the chess game, all the steps until we win uh, uh, the game. Okay, that's it for this f f first part. And uh, in the second part, we we can go more about um, uh, the elements of uh, uh, reinforcement learning and also go more in the math mathematical foundation of the reinforcement learning. Uh, thank you and uh, see you in the uh, uh, next next part.